everybody welcome back to another video today i'm going to be giving you guys a look at the first galaxies of adventure um five inch figure that i have uh, purchased so far um i did go ahead and decide that i did want to collect some of these um just because i like the 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 design of them now that obviously five inch doesn't fit anywhere and i don't really have any room for five inch um, but we'll see as it goes on. I might be able to switch a shelf around, but um, it did start off with this Luke Skywalker Jedi Knight. Um, probably you can tell for the reason that it moved to $2. Um, this figure was initially a Walmart exclusive and Walmart's got a ton of them. Um, and what I did notice is I had been at, away from, from checking stores for maybe two, two, three weeks. Um, and I come in and I find this and it was the only one there. That's why the packaging's kind of bleh. Um, but I know that other the Walmarts normally carry the rest of the line, and there was no line anywhere. I mean, they had like usually like Chewbacca and Ray and Finn and stuff, and they didn't have any. And so I'm not sure if they threw the whole way line on clearance, and then everything else sold, and there was one Luke Skywalker left because I did look around. Um, but for two dollars, this initially retails for nine eighty four. Um, and so I was like, heck yes. I had been meaning to get him anyways. I have picked him up at the store and put him down so many times at this point, probably like five or six every time I go. Um, and so $2 was a steal. Absolutely, I was getting him. And so um, I think it looks pretty cool. The packaging is nice. Mine, of course, is, is ripped right here and torn right here. It was the very last one, which is fine. I do like that they come in these little boxes. Kind of interesting. Um, I like the design of him and he's got like a black and, and yellow and red theme going on as you can tell. Um, and then you can see the character in the Gal Galaxy of Adventures uh, form here. And I believe the Galaxy of Adventures is the YouTube uh, Star Wars show that, that Star Wars does on YouTube. Did that make sense for kids? I don't know. Anyways, um, that's what it is. I think that, that the art style is from that. Um, they consider this Luke Skywalker Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker, which is not wrong. Um, on the side, you can see the wave of the other figures that you can get. Um, on the other side, it looks like Luke comes with some slashing attack. Again, a really cool figure. I just kind of wish almost that he was in a scale that I collected. So six inch or three and three quarter inch. Um, on the back, you get another picture of Luke and absolutely nothing else um, is important on the back. Just lots of warnings and stuff. It is ages four plus from Hasbro, obviously. Um, so let's go ahead and open this guy up and we'll take a closer look at this figure. All right, so here is Luke Skywalker. And honestly, he looks really, really good. I've always really enjoyed stylized action figures like the Clone Wars and the Clone Wars Micro Series. Um, and even Rebels. And, and these guys actually look really nice. There's a lot of detailing on them. They're detailed a little bit kitty like but man, getting them out of the box, pretty impressive. Um, so before I do go into him a little bit more, I did want to show you the accessory he comes with, which is one singular lightsaber. Very well made. It's not flimsy at all, which is something that we have seen and suffered with both the six inch and the three quarter inch. Um, it's Luke's lightsaber, so it's got the classic hilt and then the blue blade, or blue, or green blade, um, which hopefully isn't too washed out in the light. But it's really sturdy. I mean, it's a, it's a medium size. This probably would work in a six inch figure's hand. And I just, I really like it. It's, it's very, very sturdy, made out of really good plastic um, and, and free of defects. The paint job on it is pretty good um, as well. So I really like that, very good. Um, of course it does fit in his hand. Um, let's see, yeah, fits in his hand uh, really, really well. And of course, you can tell just by having this figure stand like this, he's so stylized looking. Like, you don't actually need to do much to pose these, in my opinion, because of the way they look. Um, now, it looks like this guy has a ton of articulation. One thing that I did notice as soon as I took him out of the package is his arms click. Um, so, you can hear it. And I had to kind of fix them so that they didn't fly backwards like that. Um, so, that is a little bit weird. They consider it a lightsaber slash, so you're supposed to be able to do... Um, if you line the figure up, like he's going to slash his lightsaber, they have him two handed in this one and I'm not really going to mess with it. Uh, let's see that you could do this number and have him like slash, or you could do it with both hands if you stick them all in the lightsaber. So that is a fun effect. You could actually have your figures duel if the other one's standing straight. Obviously I'm not going to be taking advantage of, of that, but it is nice that they included. I mean, this, this line is obviously based for children. Um, but uh, man, I'm just really impressed. I actually think that this guy looks really, really good. And now I feel like I have to pick up um, the rest of them. I mean, they're very simple. Um, the chest is a little bit bulky because he's got his Jedi tunic on top of the underneath, um, which you can't really remove. It doesn't look... Actually, I take that back. There's a little belt right back there. And I think that that would allow you 
to remove it. Well, I don't know, because it doesn't unbelt on the other side, so you're going to have to play with the figure to get it off. But he is decorated underneath. Let me see. Hold on. So after removing the tunic piece, which wasn't actually as complicated as I thought, all I had to do was remove his head and kind of work his arms around it. Kind of like a Polly Pocket or a Barbie, the way you have to like maneuver their clothes if anybody's ever played with them. Um, I love that they give you the option to take off this tunic. That is very cool. And then underneath, I think he looks even better. He's not, um, he's not bulky and it's stylized. And I don't know, I just, I am pleasantly surprised by this figure. I think he just looks fantastic. Um, and I think even better after this tunic. Um, wow, yeah, I mean, not very much detail, of course. Jedi Knight Luke is very plain in, in, in terms of he's basically all black. Uh, but I love that they gave him an underneath piece that you could display. I mean, I really think that people should look into these. Um, I know that they're five inch, but man, they're really nice. Of course, the head um, detailing is pretty good. It looks like they're doing the photo reel, like the tiny dot painting on even faces like these, which I think just improves accuracy and paint quality. Um, I love the haircut. It looks very good. Looks like Luke Skywalker in cartoon form. Um, I like the body shape. I don't think it looks too bulky. Um, and it looks like he comes packed with articulation. So he is on a ball joint and you could easily remove his head to take off the tunic. Um, his shoulders do move, but when you twist them this way, back and forth, they click because he's got that um, like lightsaber attack pose. Um, the elbows do move. The joints are really firm on it, though. Um, I kind of feel like I'm going to break it on this end. I was able to get this arm to bend, um, but I'm honestly not going to mess with that. Um, so keep that in mind. This one feels really, really hard. It's probably just stuck on by paint. Um, the wrists do move. The torso swivels. Um, it feels a little bit tight, though. Um, he's got ball joints and hips. They actually come off. Okay, good to know. It looks like he's got knee articulation and then ankle articulation as well. One thing that is definitely, and this is just kind of nitpicking. Oh, and his ankles or his upper knees go like that. That's pretty cool. One thing to nitpick though, because I think this figure honestly is pretty good, is that um, there's no definitive um, hip snap back into place. Like you saw earlier, I removed the ball. I removed it on accident. Totally took it out because it's on a ball joint. Um, and when I pressed it back in, it didn't like snap or click or anything. And so I just, I feel like it's not in there good, um, because I just need the affirmation of like a click or a snap, but, um, that is one complaint. But other than that, I mean, his belt has a little bit of a paint mishap, I think, but I don't have any other complaints other than he's got some really tight joints, um, in this other arm. I'm a little bit, again, afraid to move it. I don't want to break it. I just popped his head off. Um, it's weird. He's got the double ball joint. I did forget to mention in the head that it, it fits in the neck and then it also moves around his head. So he technically has articulation in his in his upper neck and lower neck, um, which is also really cool. It just gives tons of range of motion, but um, really good. I mean, fantastic amount of articulation for a kid's figure. You know, that was one thing that Hasbro brought up with the five point of articulation. It's like, oh, well, it's for kids. Well, they're promoting these to be for kids and they have great articulation. So um, I am very impressed. I will be picking up another one of these. Absolutely. Um, I really like them. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic day. Until next time. Bye, guys.